The history of our family trees is a deeply personal one and can wind through countries and continents. But for one woman of mixed Chinese and Jamaican heritage, the quest to find her roots led her from Los Angeles to the Caribbean as well as to mainland China, as well as to a book and a movie. Now, Paula Williams Madison joins me right now from Los Angeles, California. Now, Finding Samuel Lowe uh, from Harlem to China is the name of your movie. Uh, you say it's a journey of discovery. So what was the biggest thing that you discovered over the course of going from the Western Hemisphere to the East and now back to where you are? The biggest discovery was I really didn't have any idea that my family in China would be so large. And when we finally did connect, it turns out that there are more than 300 of my grandfather's direct descendants who live in Guangdong province overwhelmingly. And when uh, we black Chinese, the 20 or so of us, my brothers, we went to China and uh, were greeted by 300 of my grandfather's descendants. Right. Now, what's the story behind uh, your grandfather and how uh, you came to be, basically? Sure. Well, my grandfather traveled from uh, Guangdong province to Jamaica in 1905 when he was 15 years old. And my grandfather uh, could have returned to China after he fulfilled his con contract. But like many of the Chinese men, he stayed and he opened a little shop. So my grandfather had two partners, uh, one of whom was my grandmother and another of whom uh, was another Jamaican woman. Uh, his family sent him a bride sight unseen from Guangdong province to Jamaica to marry, and he did. At that point, he gathered um, children from the second partner. My grandmother did not give my mother to him. In fact, she hid my mother from him. <laughs> so the last time my, my grandfather and my mother saw each other was when my mother was three years old. A Hakka Jamaican community actually helped you in Toronto. First, uh, it sort of surprises me that there is a Hakka Jamaican community there, and how did they help you? The Prime Minister of Jamaica, Michael Manley, started getting closer to Fidel Castro. It created some real concern about the economic future of Jamaica, so many of the Hakka Chinese Jamaicans left the country, frankly, and they moved to Toronto, they moved to New York, and they moved to Miami. But the largest population of Hakka Chinese in North America is, in fact, in Toronto. It's a massive community. I'm curious, when you first went to China, how did you feel? And, you know, how, uh, to what degree were you accepted? When I found my family, um, from that point on, as you can imagine, whenever I go to China, I am welcomed by and escorted by a huge phalanx of the low family. Um, for me and my family, it's been an amazing journey and a very loving one. Right, it seems like it's a very good words to end on. And your film, Finding Samuel Lowe from Harlem to China, is now making the uh, screening circuit uh, in New York City, as well as in Trinidad and Tobago, uh, all throughout this month. Uh, Paula Williams-Madison, a great pleasure to speak with you.